And here we are with Green Hell version 1. The story update is out. Come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie talkie, right? You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. Can't hide anything from you. Very well. You can catch up, I guess. The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, the place is beautiful. Still. Still. We can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahaka village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Okay, I found the tent. Is everything all right? Spacious interior, luxurious cots, not all that fancy. Oh. And there's a dirt floor. As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. So that's all old dialogue well, we've seen since... That's everything. We're officially <sighs> settled in. As you know is this. Means, I remember the agreement, but... Maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be alright. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. I know it's common amongst Amazon tribes, but it's still worth writing down in your the dart frog, one of the deadliest amphibians on the planet, is completely harmless for the natives thanks to some kind of vaccination. The Jabahuaca, like many others, burn their skin and then puncture themselves administering small doses of frog poison. They keep repeating the process every once in a while to stay fully immune to it. It's barbaric for us, but it's an everyday routine for them.
be two rocks to make a point, but now it's not. Hmm. Maybe I just haven't learned it yet. Yeah. Oh, we can't even make simple spears anymore. long time since I played this game. And a bird's nest so we can start our fire. Everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, but it feels that way. Where are my little sticks? Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia. Can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. <sighs> Not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? Not the best start of the expedition. There we go. That's what I needed. All right. Hmm. I need to find something dry. Mia, the fire is burning. Coming. Give me a minute. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something, make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. Yeah, you're right. I'm optimistic. 
If we're gonna find answers, hell, it'll be here. This time we need to pay attention to the slightest <laughs> details. Last time I must have missed something. Last time, you were only making general observations. This time, we have a specific goal. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Where are you? I should reach the village shortly. Remember, if you see a totem, do not go any farther. Those are clear warnings. I know, I know. I read your book. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me, that's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days, but stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. Rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See. Si. And as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Just be careful, please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. You're right. They're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine, and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here.
Ooh. We can defend ourselves now. Alright, tobacco plant. Got some malaria. Make some bandages. Or, which I think we're probably going to lose all this anyhow. Um, oh, it's not telling us how to craft bandages yet. I guess we got to go up here and fall. We we'll learn how to craft bandages. And the rope breaks. Oh, he falls. Oh, fuck me. Okay, the break. Mia, I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Just me, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Let me know once you have checked yourself. Oh, that's definitely not good. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. <laughs> You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? Yes, I do. Molinaria. Long, smooth, acute leaf. Surrounded Molinaria. by yellow flowers. That's it. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. Yourself. All right. Here I am, all wrapped up nicely. Does it hurt? Oh, like hell. Imagine I am hugging you now. Mm-hmm. Better? Uh, a bit better. Yes. So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. Please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please, please answer me. Mia, what happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia. What the hell's going on over there? So there was some new dialogue in that beginning, and here is the new part we get to see.
cool. So, I think we'll end this here. And we'll start Hello? playing the game with other streams. What the hell is videos. going on there? So if you guys liked the video, hit that like and subscribe. Oh, and me, we will hey. probably live stream this later today. The start of the game here is what we're doing. So hope you all have a good day and we will see you later tonight with a live stream of this and probably some night a couple of zero.